Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Zano for our Facebook Live. As you know, we're doing Facebook Live every single day. So today, the topic of discussion, I'm waiting for some people to start coming in. The topic for today's discussion is going to be how to stay focused, all right? How to stay focused and driven. Plus, we'll go into some fat loss tips later on. Fat loss hacks. Meaning fat loss hacks means, hey, babe, my wife's on. You should be working. No, but she is working. She's doing great. So these are fat loss hacks that you're going to be able to do and get results immediately. All right. So if someone's saying, hey, listen, I want to get rid of fat, I'll tell you exactly how to do it. All right. So if you're watching this right now, there's 11 you on already. Please, I need you to first hit the like button, hit the like, and then hit the share. Because we had a great amount, over 20, almost 24 or 2,500 views yesterday, thanks to you guys. So this proves what I was saying, that when there's something inside of you and it just needs to come out, it's something that you feel that you're called to do and you do it, the entire universe is going to co come on your side. So just you guys being a part, getting over 2,500 people to see that video yesterday, you're playing a huge role. So let's, let's see how far it takes it. So this is why you share it, because then we'll be able to make a difference together. And also, if there's something inside your heart that you've been meaning to do, and you're just, you have that stuff in the basement, as I like to say, this is a perfect example. Just go out, start doing it, and when it's something you love to do, it'll be contagious. So let's first start off. We're going to talk with two questions. All right, so the first one is from Nick. Nick had sent me, did a comment, and please comment below. First of all, tell me where you're from and then comment below. And he said, he wants to learn, the first part of here is, how do I focus and how do I keep focused? How am I uh, driven, not only in my career as a doctor of chiropractic, but as, but as uh, in weightlifting and in all of life? How do I stay focused and how do I stay driven? So just to let you know, when you write me comments, comment here below, I'll be answering those questions. But even if you're watching this and it's not live, I go back and I answer every comment and I also ask you, what would you like to hear? So I'll take those comments and I'll actually write down, and I work on it to give you the best content that'll give you uh, exactly what you want in the best uh, type of way. So I actually thought about it, I wrote some things down and I'll share it with you guys today. So Nick, this is for you. Again, if you're watching this, Please hit the like button, please hit the share, and let me know when you're here. I just know my wife's on right now. And, uh, oh, and uh, Amy Thompson. So thanks, guys, for being here. But please share, please join, let me know. All right, so the first thing, how do I stay focused? Very important. So focus is the key to everything. So number one, in order to stay focused, you need to build a routine. Anytime you add something in your life, you have to build uh, a routine, meaning, so I added these Facebook lives, right? I committed first. We talked about commitment yesterday. Commit to something and keep faithful. So I committed to it. So I had to learn how to make it part of my daily routine. You see, there's the thing. You know, 98% of people will start something and quit because they didn't make it part of their routine. So I made it. I made sure that on each day, um, well, today is my day off but, uh, of weight training, but I would weight train. As soon as I would come home, I would eat, and then I would do my Facebook live. Right, so that became part of my routine every day. So I'm not, I'm not going to get to it when I can. I'm going to get to it as part of the daily routine. So that allows me to stay focused and get it done. Number two, I, I, I have clear goals on what needs to be done on a daily basis. And what I mean is I write my goals down. I finished today already. And let me explain what that means. I finished today. I wrote down everything I had to do today, yesterday. So I, I finished the day before I started it. Jim Rome used to talk about that. Finish the day before you start it. So I write down the things, and the reason why I do that is I love winning, and you love winning too. You like that feeling. So when I have my little things written down on what I need to do today, and I accomplish those things, like today after this, I check it off, it's a win. So I write down my things every single day versus letting my day, I'm the master of my day, versus my day becoming the master of me. And of course you'll have slip-ups, hiccups, and audibles, but at least you have a course. So to be focused, you gotta know what you're doing. You have something to shoot for. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Rob. Good to see you. We'll see you soon here. Um, number three, I want to. I finish the day before I start it. Number four, I make things a system in my life so it becomes part of the routine. Number five, I, focus is very specific. So when someone asks, how do you stay focused, understand what is the definition of focus, like laser tight. You're focusing right on that. So something that focusing is where you're, you're narrowing in on something, therefore, if you want to be focused, you want to make sure that you're eliminating distractions, right? So all those distractions in your life will take you off focus. They'll take you off purpose. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Dr. Gunyan. Uh, please like. Everybody like. Hit the like button. I don't see anything. Come on. Give me some love. Give me some love. Hit the like. There we go. Thank you. 
for doing that. <laughs> All right, so uh, so you want to replace. So if focus means, thank you guys. If focus means that I have to narrow in on something to stay focused, therefore that means distractions are the the enemy against focus. So this means you have to, now number one, if you're going to add something, so I added this Facebook Live to my daily routine and other things, if I'm adding something and I need to focus on it, that means I got to, number one, I got to remove a distraction from my life. So if there's something distracting me in my life, I need to remove that to replace it with a positive habit and positive focus. You follow what I'm saying? So that focus could be maybe uh, something distracting you. Maybe you, you don't watch TV. Maybe you cancel your TV prescription or subscription. You don't do that. Maybe you don't surf you know, on Facebook all the time, except for watching educational things that'll improve your life like this right now. But you eliminate distractions so you have more time to focus. So that's why the distractions have to be kept out. So that could be people in your life that are distracting you. That could be all types of things. You write down distractions, get rid of them. So now, watch this. When you remove those distractions, now you replace those distractions and that extra time with what? With people, positive people. So what we're doing right now, you're doing a wonderful thing right now because you're bettering yourself. This is personal development. Uh, mentors. So you start, it could be books that are your mentors to be focused, that keep you motivated. YouTube videos of your mentors or people that you appreciate or follow to get you motivated. You can watch one of these Facebook lives we're doing to get you inspired and motivated. So you, have, you surround yourself by the people that you relate to to keep you motivated and focused and driving you. You know, I was, I was influenced and inspired by someone I follow to do these not once in a while, but every single day. So it gave me enough inspiration, but inspiration is useless. Ideas are useless without execution and focused execution. And then thought leaders. And make sure that you keep those thought leaders in your life in any area that you want to improve in. And then the thing is focus. Now let's talk about drive. All right, everybody. So when it comes to drive, it's all about this. Write this down. In fact, to let me know you're watching, put in the comment below and share it. Write this quote down. Your drive comes from your why. I'll say it again. Your drive comes from your why. See, I'm not going to be able to do these every single day. I'm not going to be able to go to work and help my patients and work out and do all the things I have to do and wake up early in the morning. It's not genetics, and it's not because you want to. It's because there's got to be a huge why behind it. And so always ask yourself, why? So I'll go with you. You know, there was, I was reading a book called Millionaire Success Habits by Dean Graciosi, and he had actually uh, an exercise where you asked why seven times. Why do you want to do Facebook Lives every day? Okay, that's the first question. Why? Because... I want to give great content and connect with people. Why do you want to give great content and connect with people? Because, you know, I want to be able to help people. Why do you want to help people? Because I feel that there's some people out there that I know that just connecting, it could change the course of their day, allow them to have a better life. Why do you want them to have a better life? And see, as those questions get deeper, it goes from head to heart. And it gets deeper and deeper. And then my, my big why, because I've done this, why do I want people to have a better life? Because I know they can live up to God's purpose in their life. Why do you want people to live up to God's purpose in your life? Because I feel that people are being limited in their potential because society has made or taught us to be mediocre. So why do you want people to be their ultimate version of themselves to connect them with their genius, to connect them back to God? Why do I want to do that? Why do I want to help people? And for me, you know what my baseline is? And we'll talk more about it because I want to be a hero. That's it. It comes back to a selfish why. So when I realize that I want to become a hero, meaning the definition of hero means being ad admired and be able to stand for something that is, that is achievement, that is noble, and that is basically, uh, you know, giving back. And that's what a hero is. It, society makes a hero sound bad, but a hero is really what every, at least for me, my sons, they dress up in hero uniforms because as a child or even, uh, whether even a, a female, you want to be a hero. You want to be admired. You want nobility, you want to be able to contribute, and you want to have great achievements and be known for that. Who wouldn't? And so that becomes your basic why. So when I wake up and when I do these things, because deep down inside, I want to help you in all those areas, but for that selfish reason, it's because I want to be able to achieve something great in my life by giving back that's noble and righteous to be able to help as many people as possible. And if that falls into the definition of what hero is, then I strive to be a hero. And that, that is something we're going to talk about 
in the future. And that's kind of my act three, which is reconnecting you back to your hero. If you see my pictures of my sons in their super, in their, all their hero uniforms, the reason why I post them is because that's something deep inside us. We all want to be connected back to that hero, to be, to, to be outrageous, to be live, to be bigger than life. That's in our DNA. So drive comes from your why. All right. Why uh, times seven? Good job, Heather. Dean Graciosi put it in there, his mentor put it in there, but I'm telling you, if you do it seven times, I guess maybe after the seventh time, it just goes, and when I was doing it, it goes from your head, and then you get emotional into your heart, and, it's, and you find the deeper why. Because I, I, I was telling my wife, I found my thing, and you know, a couple days later, I kept on asking the why to that, and then I found what really was. I and mean, if you look back in my whole entire life, you know, you know, I, why, do, why do I work out? Because I want to look like a superhero. You know, I mean, just all those little things. You know, why did I love superheroes growing up? It was just this hero's journey was always a part of my life. And I realized, you know, looking back, it really was in front of me the whole entire time. Why do I want to be a chiropractor? Because they use the term, we're going to go out and save the world or save lives. So it's always been part of my DNA. It was just in front of me. I never was able to understand it, see it, but most importantly, accept it. And now when I accept it without shame, live it. And so that's total freedom. And that's what we're doing these things. All right. So that was the mindset portion of this. Everybody right now, if you're liking this, please hit the like button. Hit like and then hit the share. Hit the like and the share. Thanks to you, everybody out there, because you helped over 2,500 people yesterday get some amazing message. It was truly transformational for a lot of people. Thanks so much, guys, for doing that. Also, comment below. Let me hit some uh, comments right here. Um, let me see here. Let me go through some of these things. Okay, so, hey, Wendy. Hey, Wendy Montgomery. Your drive comes from your wife. Thanks, guys. Trent, good to see you. Wendy, back again. Hey, Mr. Jeff. All right, Nick. All right, everybody's there. Good. All right. Giovanni, good to see you. Heather, good to see you. All right, so, the guys, now we're going to move into the second part here. So we talked about mindset, all right? Now we're going to talk about actual application, the well, application being this. Someone wrote me a question, Adam, he wrote me a question, and it goes like this. Chris, thank you for the questions. Uh, I'm looking for body fat loss. It's always been a big, big struggle for me today. I also realized I have mercury filling. I want to get those out of my mouth. Uh, can you help me lose fat? All right, so number one, I, I would definitely, if you have mercury fillings, get those things pulled out of your mouth because toxicity is going to prevent you from losing fat. When, you're, when your body's toxic because, you're, you know, your fat cells store, store toxins, so if you're toxic, you're not going to get rid of that last bit of belly fat especially around the waist and ladies, that's going to be around the thighs and that um, hamstring glute insertion. So here's some of the hacks you're going to do right now to be able to get your fat loss moving in a huge um, direction where you want it to be. Number one, I told them, you know, to answer this, get the, get the toxins out. So one way to do toxins, there's two ways to get rid of toxins. There's don't add anymore and then get the existing ones out of there, meaning this. So if you have a bucket full of junk, all right, let's say that's your cell and it's full of junk or let's say toxins. The thing is, it's great when you start eating better and eating organic food and drinking clean water and you know, eating organic vegetables and grass-fed beef and, and you're making proper food choices, you're doing great as far as you're not adding more junk into the bucket, right? You follow what I'm saying? But what do you still have? You have a bucket full of junk. So that's why eating, making right decisions or changing your, uh, for ladies, changing your uh, makeup and stuff, you're preventing new stuff from coming in, but what's going to go on with the old stuff? So that's why in our office we do true cellular detox. You could just PM me. I could tell you more about that. But we do have a detoxification programs just, just to get down to the root cause of it. But with any detoxification thing you're doing, just look to be doing something on a daily basis to detox in any way, shape, or form. Again, make it part of a system. Uh, so number one, you do that. But now let's go into this. The first thing I would do if you want to get fat loss is start journaling what you eat on a daily basis for at least a week. You have to start with a set point. You know, for you to just start, you know, you know, not eating carbs and, and exercising and doing this, we need to know where you're starting at. Where, where are we start? What's the set point? Where are we starting at? Because we all have different metabolisms. Someone could eat a lot more than I can. I could eat a lot more than someone else can. So make sure we have a set point. And so that's why food journal will be really good. I truly believe four to six meals is right. You know, I, I might eat six or seven. Six is, it could be a lot for someone. Four to five might be perfect for you. But just find the meal frequency that works best for you. Of course, more meals, the better. For me personally, um, hey, Trent, how you doing? Can you touch base on the fundamental truth? Oh, gotcha. I'll, I'll hit that in, in a moment. Now, 
when it comes to my goals, see right now, remember, my goal is I'm trying to add as much po muscle as possible onto my body and keep my body fat as low as possible. So, you know, I'm going to have more carbohydrates and stuff. I'm not going to be on a pure keto diet. It just, it's not meeting my goals that I want to do right now. But for, for the general, for, for what we're talking about here, losing fat, this is what I would do and definitely what I would recommend a patient or someone to do. Uh, number one, we want to make sure when you are eating something, have your food become from, a, have a protein source per meal, a green vegetable per meal, and a healthy fat per meal. Don't try to get all your protein in one meal, all your vegetables in another meal, and all your fats in another meal. Try to have them as balanced as possible and as similar as possible. I don't mean similar as having the same meal, but make sure it has those three components. I would rather you just get your carbohydrates from the natural carbohydrates found in the raw seeds, raw nuts, and the vegetables. Not really adding extra carbohydrates. Because you don't need it if you're trying to get uh, burn fat for fuel. Because we want to make our body a fat burner. So if you're eating a bunch of sugar and carbs, your body and your brain is just going to be looking for carbs for fuel. And then the problem is if you do low carb, low fat, then you're really screwed. Because then when you're low carb, you're going to feel horrible. And you don't have fat, so the body's not going to burn fat. And then you're, what we call you crash metabolically. You're done. You would, and in fact, when people crash because they eat low food, low calorie, low food, low carb, low fat, we literally have to feed them carbohydrates and fat and actually boost the calories just to wake the body and the metabolism up again. So choose one or the other. Don't, don't mix a low carb diet and a low fat diet. Choose one. Low carbs, higher fat, or moderate carbs, lower fat, but pick one. Hey, welcome uh, Alejandro from uh, uh, El Paso. So number one, from... Uh, from there, make yourself a fat burner, right? We're forcing the body by eating less carbs. So when you eat less carbs, the body has to turn to fat for its storage. Plus, when you're eating fat, it's going to allow the body to relax and say, look, we can start releasing fat for fuel. The only way you become a fat burner is by eating more fats and lowering the carbs. Then when you have that, I want you to start some type of weight training a couple days a week. See, when you weight train, even ladies out there, when you do it, when you do, when you do weight training, you understand you're not going to get big and bulky. It's not going to happen. You don't have the hormones to do it. Even guys, if you, if you want to say, I want to be lean, I, I want to be like my size or something like that, trust me. Someone asked me today, I, was, I got some Groston work done. Hey, man, what's the secret? He said, what's the secret to me? I'm like, you know what the secret is? Here's my, here's my secret. 27 years every single day. That's my secret. He's like, what, is there any quick thing? I'm like, yeah. 27 years every single day. That's my quick answer for you. So like Arnold said, people say, I don't want to get big like you. And he's like, don't worry, you won't. So the same thing applies. You got to work to get to your goal. So if you're a lady watching, you need to start working with weights. Same with the guys, of course, because the weights, when you do resistance training, it will force the body to hold on to the muscle. And muscle is what gives you that beautiful, sexy, really nice look to the physique. You know, the thing is, if you have no muscle, you just kind of become a skinnier version of yourself and there's no tone, there's no shape, there's no line. So the, the muscle is not only extremely attractive looking when you see that, and that's really what you like to see, but also the muscle, the more muscle you have, the better the metabolism. That means you're burning more calories at rest. So muscle is required, burns calories at rest. So you want to keep the muscle. Then I would definitely add some type of cardio starting, you know, you know, maybe 20 minutes here and there. I would just start with maybe two or three times a week. The reason why that is because when you start finding your journal, where you're at, what you're eating, all you have to do is lower by 250 calories. Meaning that, let's say I found my journal, here's my calorie intake. If I want to lose more fat, I drop it by 250 calories. 250 calories represents, watch this, a, table and a tablespoon and a half of fat. Because I add my fat by a tablespoon, so that's easy to measure. Okay, I just take out a tablespoon and, and a half, and that's 250 calories. You don't even realize you took anything away. And then the body will then just start going down. It's amazing. You can lose pounds by taking out 200 calories when the body becomes efficient. And so you do that. So when you hit a plateau, then you could do two things. You could either lower another 250 calories, or I like to add in the cardio. I want to, I want to, the last thing you want to do is pull the calories down because then what happens, you're stuck. So I would rather get to a level, add a little bit more cardio, 20 minutes here, like we talked last yesterday about hit cardio. 20 minutes of HIIT cardio because that helps boost the right hormones. Remember, it's a, hormone, a hormonal thing. HIIT cardio raises growth hormone and gets the hormones where they need to be to burn fat. I would do that first thing in the morning if, if you can on an empty stomach, or I would do it right after you train. All right, so do that. And then right there, you are now a fat-burning machine. So I gave you all the things you would need to do 
to be able to burn and become a fat incinerator working now. And it will literally start, if you started that right now, if you, if after this, if you went and you worked out and you did 20 minutes of hit after that or did it tomorrow morning, you will start burning fat immediately. All right, so when you're watching this, please hit the like. Everybody, please just take the finger and hit like like that so I can see it. Show me a little love for doing this. We're going to be doing this every single day. Please hit share. How about this? If you liked it, if it was inform if it was informative, let me know. That's all I need to know. So let me look at some questions right here for you guys. I'm going to back up. And if you see me squint, it's because I'm trying to read the comments. So I'm not, I don't have like an, a, you know, eye problem. All right, let's see. Wow, look at all these great comments. Okay, so here we go. Good to see you, Aaron. Hey, Heather. Hey, Mom. Hey, Trent. Can you touch base on this fundamental truth, behavioral modification don't work because it all starts with belief system. Absolutely. You know, because if I say, if I just, behavior modification, example, when you start working out, well, how many people make a New Year's resolution and then they quit? Because the thing that has to start in the head, you quit for a reason or you resist something because it's not deep enough. You didn't create the big enough why. That's why I say your drive comes from your why. So when I have a deep enough why, and remember, the, the, the why has to go deep. Do the seven steps we talked about. Why? Why do I want to exercise? Watch, it could be so heady like this. I want to exercise because I want to get in shape. That's not going to stick. Um, I want to be healthier. Okay. I want to lose weight. Okay. Um, I want to look better in a dress. Ooh, okay. Here we go. I want to be sexier to my spouse. Okay. That's a little bit deeper. Why do you want to be sexier to your spouse? Because I want to feel loved, accepted, and I want to be able to give a love and acceptance. Oh, okay. Now, now see, see how I got deeper and deeper. So the deeper that why goes, the better. How about this? Another time when people make a life change instead of behavioral modifications, when what? They get diagnosed with cancer, heart disease, or disease crisis. So what happens there? They get a huge scare. They're diagnosed with a disease, and it becomes what I call a, a form of health terrorism in their life. And then it's so such a shock, they make that shift immediately. All right. But then what happens if, it's, if, it, if it doesn't have belief system change, when that person gets better, what do they go? They go back to the same equation. So the deeper the why, and the why could be for others, don't get me wrong, but if you could get that why so, so deep where it becomes a human core value, like, because I want to be a hero. All right, you know, it comes to, if you could get, I want to be in control, whatever that is, if you get it down to that true core thing, then that becomes the driving force that'll, that'll wake you up at 4.30 in the morning and, you, and you'll be unstoppable. And every, every successful person you see that, you're like, wow, I admire how they work and their stuff. Because they have such a, a grounded why. It's so deep and rooted. Nothing's going to stop it. Thank you, Trent. Great one. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Pete. Uh, do you ascribe to the eating for your blood type? Absolutely not. I, I think that's just, you know what? Eating all this stuff. Remember, you know what sells? This is the things that sell, and the media does it, and everything does it. You know what? For me to tell you there's something wrong with you, your blood type is off, or you're, you're, you're this or that. Like, if I tell you how awful you are genetically, and that you'll never make it without my secret sauce, that sells. It's, you know, focusing on me, focusing on the weakness of people sells. Scaring people sells. Empowering people doesn't sell as much. Therefore, you know, these, these blood type, these, you know what? Whatever you could do consistently... You're going to get there. Remember I said, if I could stick to something long term, then you win. That's why I said yesterday, ladies out there, eat chocolate every single day, dark chocolate, because if that's what you love, and a little bit of bar, a little bit of chocolate is going to keep you on board for the long term, you win. You're going to win versus binging. All right. Alejandro, good to see you. Karina, where's, um, where's your greens in your breakfast? Well, sometimes I'll have a green uh, drink. You know, Whitney makes green drinks, or sometimes I'll have spinach, but not many greens. Not right now, because I eat so much food. Hey, in Peru, we got someone from Peru. Awesome. Brett, good to see you. If I'm transitioning from balanced macros to keto and would like to cut a bit, do you recommend keeping my cows at 1,800? Yeah, um, Brett, let's, let's keep it at 1,800. So just tra uh, trans transfer the macros around, keep it at 1,800, and see what your body does. Because remember, calories aren't the answer to that because when you change the fats around, you're changing hormones in the body and that right there, you may in fact need to eat more food when you start going keto. So please um, keep it at 1800 and then text me from there. Hey Brett, 
So basically, is switching from a keto enough to lean out? Absolutely. Absolutely. So switch to keto, you'll lean out because you drop a lot of water weight. We'll do a couple more. I'm trying to gain muscle last month. I hit the weights harder than and ate more, but then lost two pounds. <laughs> because you are, that's what happened. Your metabolism is kicking up. So now I need you to add 250 calories a day. All right, awesome, guys. Well, hey, thank you so much. Once again, can you please hit the uh, the like button? Let me see some likes and love out there. There's, right, and please hit the share button. Also, um, there's an issue with Facebook, and is this: if you go to my personal, my personal page, uh, Chris Zano, it has. Hey, guys, thank you. It has only you know you only could have five thousand um, requests or friends. I really don't have five thousand friends, but on, on, on it says five thousand. So. In reality, so there's 5,000, so I can't have, so you guys could follow me on Chris Zeno, that Facebook site, but I can't really, you know, I, I can't uh, connect with you guys. So that's why we made the, the, the fan page Dr. Zeno. It's just, oh, crap, it's reversed. Forget it. It's Dr. Zeno. It's D-R period Zeno, Z's and Zebra, A-I-N-O. So go to the Dr. Zeno fan page, and I want you to like that, because then we could have way more than 5,000, because with this going on, you'll see we'll hit 100,000 to a million pretty soon. And so I want to be able to connect with all of you, and I don't want something restricting you by trying to follow something or like me or get a hold of me, and this, this you know, their, their algorithms only allow you to have so many friends. So go to Dr. Zeno. Uh, the fan page, just type that in, like that, follow that, and so we can be connected. Plus, on the Dr. Zeno fan page, I'm posting other videos that no one else gets. So no one else on Facebook sees the videos I, I post on my fan page. And we have uh, something I'm working on called 5-Minute Fuel. I'm testing it out. It's where maybe, you know, some in five minutes or less, will fuel your mind, your body, and your future. So I have those posters, some kind of cool videos that I'll post there that you only get if you go and you're part of that Dr. Zeno fan page. So please be a fan. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for everything you've done. Uh, have an amazing day today. Please comment below, like and share all your comments. So if you're watching this and it's not live, put your comments below. I will always answer your comments. That's what I'm doing. You'll see they're all answered. And plus, all the questions you ask, I'll actually make a show out of it. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be uh, Thursday. So um, Thursday, probably around... Two o'clock. I'll probably be you know, between 1:45 and two o'clock. I'll be on Facebook Live. God bless you guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.